There are a lot of Easter eggs and cultural references in SpongeBob SquarePants, and we've covered a bunch of them. However, we really haven't even scraped the surface of just how many are jam-packed in this thing. So here are 10 references and Easter eggs in SpongeBob Season 10. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, or this spider will crawl into your mouth as you sleep. Let's start this list off with an episode that features quite a few Easter eggs, and that episode is Lost and Found. In this episode, a child loses their toy in the Krusty Krab, and SpongeBob is sent into an underground Lost and Found area to find it. The first Easter egg of this episode is present in this shot here. If you look very closely to the left of the shot, you can see a toy that greatly resembles Yoda from Star Wars. This episode also has a few Easter eggs that reference older Spongebob episodes. If you look at this shot, you can see that not only is the Goofy Goober guitar present, but King Neptune's crown is as well. If you are really eager-eyed, you'll also notice a map of Finland, and I think every true Spongebob fan knows what that is a reference to. There are other Easter eggs in this shot as well. Let me know down in the comments below if you can see any. Another Easter egg occurs when SpongeBob travels through the Lost Mines. As you can probably tell, this shot is very clearly referenced to the 1937 Disney adaptation of Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. Oh, there's Brick a Brack and Egos! Oh, I wonder if there's tchotchkes. I can't. It's too big. Size matters not. Look at me. Judge me by my size, do you? Hmm? Oh, thank you, symbol clapping sea champs. What is this? It looks like Bikini Bottom. You okay, Patrick? Finland! Whoosh. Lost mine! The next reference is a feature in the episode, The Getaway. In this episode, Spongebob accidentally picks up a criminal breaking out of jail and is forced to lose the police who are chasing after him. Spongebob and the criminal soon arrive at a jewelry store and the criminal wants to rob it. The criminal makes Spongebob distract the store owner and this is where the reference occurs. Spongebob morphs into something that is very similar to the abstract painting by Dutch artist M.C. Escher called Relativity. Hey, shapes and noises, I love it! <laughs> Our next reference actually has nothing to do with the contents of the episode it's featured in as the title itself is a reference to something. The episode in question is The Incredible Shrinking Sponge. What is this in reference to? Well, it's a reference to the 1957 science fiction movie The Incredible Shrinking Man. SpongeBob SquarePants! The science fiction classic, The Incredible Shrinking Man, one of the best sci-fi films of all time. In the episode Plankton Retires, Plankton makes the choice to finally close down the chum bucket and move out of Bikini Bottom. The Easter egg in this episode is actually a reference to an episode that is also in Season 10, and that episode is called Krusty Catering. There's a scene where Plankton is spying on Mr. Krabs with his telescope, and Mr. Krabs is packing a food truck. As you can see, the food truck has Krusty Catering written on it. I'm off to make a delivery! Oh my! 
Are you the high-class caterers I hired for an extraordinarily large sum of money? Yes! Go! Yet another episode in this list features a title-based easter egg. The episode is Plankton Gets the Boot. What could this possibly be in reference to? Well, hardcore cartoon fans might be able to guess. If you're really into cartoons, and I mean really into cartoons, you'll already know what the title's in reference to, as it's a reference to the first Tom and Jerry episode ever, titled Puss Gets the Boot. And SpongeBob's place. Whoa, Mr. Krabs, you're the best! Our next reference comes from the episode titled, Spongebob Place. In this episode, Mr. Krabs gets jealous after all of his customers start referring to the Krabby Patty as the Spongebob Patty. Because of this, Spongebob is sent home, and Mr. Krabs takes it upon himself to cook even better patties than Spongebob, but ultimately he fails. Spongebob is bored at home and pretends he's in the Krusty Krab, so he cooks up some Krabby Patties, and the smell of the burgers attracts the attention of many people. Eventually, Spongebob's house turns into a restaurant called Spongebob Place. If you look at the sign, you may notice that it looks remarkably similar to the original McDonald's sign from the 60s, especially the way Spongebob is positioned in exactly the same way of the original McDonald's mascot, Speedy. In the episode Snooze You Lose, Squidward is struggling to get some sleep, but when he finally gets his well-needed rest, he can't wake back up. This is a problem as he has a clarinet audition. So SpongeBob and Patrick do what any good friends would do. They enter Squidward's body and control him from the inside, so that they can get him to his audition. Awaiting at the concert hall is a fish that goes by the name Maestro Mackerel. This fish has a personality that kind of resembles the character from the movie Whiplash, Terrence Fletcher. However, the man who voices Maester Mackerel is also the man who plays Terrence Fletcher, the legendary J.K. Simmons. Going to lambast you two! You're a wizard! A magical, musical wizard! I huh? Oh. Yes! Yes! Oh, bring us to ecstasy, maestro! I envy you, common people. Why do you suppose I just hurled a chair at your head, Neiman? I, I don't know. Sure you do. The tempo? Were you rushing or were you dragging? SpongeBob becomes infested with worms in the episode Housewarming. In this episode, a worm finds his way into SpongeBob's body for shelter and begs SpongeBob to stay. But eventually, more worms are invited and SpongeBob's body is crawling with these little guys. It makes Spongebob too unhygienic to work in a kitchen, so he's kicked out of the Krusty Krab. It's during the moment where Spongebob is kicked out that the reference occurs. Squidward says, Hasta la vista, worm boy, which is a reference to the movie Terminator. That's the last straw! Mr. Squid! On it, sir! Hasta la vista, worm boy! <laughs> Hasta la vista, baby. The Wilhelm Scream is an icon of cinema. The reason it's used so often isn't necessarily because it's a very good sound effect, but just because it's funny. It's really just become a meme amongst filmmakers and editors, and is just used for a bit of a laugh. However, it might shock you that it's never been used in Spongebob, at least not until the episode titled Sports. It's during this scene that the Wilhelm Scream makes its debut in Spongebob. Take a look! That's pretty low, Squidward. Even for you, I'm putting a stop to this. Spongebob and Patrick have had enough! <sighs> See? They're fine. Let the games resume! <laughs> Just 
one day to retire. Our last reference comes from the episode Unreal Estate. In this episode, Squidward tries to get SpongeBob to move out by convincing him he's allergic to his own house. Squidward does this by sneaking Pepper into SpongeBob's house and making him sneeze. SpongeBob begins looking for various houses that resemble different kinds of food, even one that resembles a Parmesan Chicken Hero sandwich. SpongeBob comes out of that house pretty fat and is poked by a finger. He then laughs in a very similar way to the Pillsbury Doughboy. Chicken farmers and hero under the sea. Go, go, <laughs> nope. <laughs> well, that concludes this video. What was your favorite Easter egg on this list? Don't forget to let me know in the comments below. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys very soon.